Sure, throw it up there. This week's Chiefs Kingdom Live poll. It was a little hard to put together because when I came up with the idea, I was like, well, what's like the most magical Mahomes play? And then there was like 30 plays came to mind. I was like, okay, well, I'm going to I'm have to cut out the playoff plays. I'm going to have to cut this out. So we tried to put together the – and on Twitter polls, you can only have four selections. So I tried to put together the four most athletic or, or, or just great plays of Patrick Mahomes. And also then I had to like – I had to trim it down even more to like time and situation in the game because – Scott's asking us for ideas for these plays. And he's like, well, no, I mean, like, that wasn't under that much duress. Yeah, yeah he wasn't looking <laughs> the way the receiver was. But, yeah, I mean, the game, that was also right. a playoff game. Right. This game would get – but this play, the game was on the line. Or this was a, a play against, like, a good defense. So, yeah, so Nick wants to throw it up there. What was the most magical Mahomes regular season moment? We had the, the spin and flip TD versus Tampa Bay. We had the fourth and nine pass versus Baltimore from a couple seasons ago to the Cheetah. That was a, obviously a fourth down play where they don't make that play, the game's over. Um, left-handed pass versus Denver. That was a key moment late in the game. They got a big first down that allowed them to go on and, down. And, and win the game. And then the third and uh, 18 TD against the Indianapolis Colts where he, he like does his little move where he like turns out of the defender. He did it twice going both directions and cuts around the corner. And just throws a pass to Byron Pringle in the end zone that where he has three defenders around him on the run. Um, if you want to go back to the, the the polls over, obviously, but if you want to go back and just watch some badass Patrick Mahomes highlights, go to the Twitter, go to that Chiefs Kingdom Live. You can see the handle there. Yeah, if you're just I, listening, go to our Twitter I account. Videos highlight of the highlights of the plays there in the thread. So um, the spin and flip TD versus Tampa Bay kind of came back late there and yeah. edged out the fourth and nine pass against Baltimore. Um, myself, I, mean, I, I thought the third and 18 TD, as far as just the athletic ability and the actual play itself, um, to me was the most, most outstanding of the four there. Nick. Yeah. I, I think that the third and 18 probably isn't remembered slash wasn't voted on because we lost that game. Right. Um, it, it, it has nothing to do with how good or bad that play was, but I think in people's memories, it didn't stick out because it wasn't like a thing that really won the game. But I, I do agree. I remember watching that on TV and that's the first time Chris Collinsworth was like, stop it, stop it. You can't do this. Like you just can't do this in the NFL. <laughs> like I, it was a ridiculous play. I personally have always been a fan of the fourth and nine pass versus Baltimore. Um, it's a great call on that. And also it added that like Tyree kill was hurt during that play. Right. Like he, I mean, he, like he catches the ball and he gets out of bounds and he's limping. And I think he uh, famously said after that game, you know, mama didn't raise me to be a softy. And uh, it was just, he was going out of bounds. He just, you know, the F at Tyreek's down there somewhere is where that meme came from. And he just chucked the ball. I mean, it was a, it was a beautiful play. That's, that was my favorite, but I agree. Like we had to leave several, several plays off. I mean, we don't have the no look pass in the same game versus Baltimore. We don't have the, the yeah, touchdown yeah, against San Francisco. Yeah. 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 The San Francisco rollout. We don't have the, moments. The, 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 the sidearm uh, pass against Seattle, right? Scott, we were talking about that one to, what did you say it was Sharkandrick West? Sharkandrick West. So yeah. many, so many plays, There's right? In, in the first few years. Yeah, Go ahead, yeah. I was thinking about it when I was just thinking of just how many unreal plays that he's made. So we need to do like an maybe we do that for a bye week or something, like an NCAA type bracket of polls where it's like <laughs> you can put like 32 plays or something up against one another and seed them. And so maybe we'll do something fun like that, but you do that. I think it's a bracket and then just do a poll a day and then have the winner advance and then just take, you know, a couple of weeks to do it, but it'd be fun to do this season. Bo, maybe I, I'll get that together for next week. Yeah. Bo, I think you, uh, you, you were a fan of the spin and flip basketball touchdown, right? Yeah, man, I voted for that one. There, I was talking with you guys before the podcast started. There were so many caveats to this play that, like, I I've watched it like four or five times now, and I rewatched it again at the beginning. Just there's just like from the 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 art the 
the play action and him hiding the ball, just absolutely perfect, throwing off all the linebackers thinking it was a run to evading the the ensuing tackler to the spin move to the dunk pass. Like it just encapsulated everything magical about our quarterback. I, and the funny thing was, is I was on like a 10 or 20 second delay streaming the game and uh, my phone lit up for that. <laughs> I'm like any other Mahomes moment, like even, even more so than the Super Bowl. I had, I had people texting me. I hadn't talked to in probably like five or six years being like, Oh my God, Mahomes, right? Like that. So I had, I had to vote for it, but.